the Depression. We lived on a farm, and uh, we had money just before the Depression hit, so my stepfather bought a two-car portable home-built garage, and we extended the front end, and we lived in that for uh, all my childhood. But the reason we did it, or he did it, we lived on 10 acres of land and raised all our own food. So I, I didn't, people were starving during the Depression, but not us. The first training I got was not in basic training. They sent me to Army Air Corps to learn 50 caliber machine gun. We were at peace at the time, and the Canadians were fighting the Nazis. Shortly thereafter, I deserted the Army went to Canada, but for a different reason. People went to Canada during Vietnam to get out of the war. I went to Canada to get in the war. In 1940, America was still at peace, yet young Louis Millet was outraged by German aggression in Europe and was eager to get into combat. He deserted to join the Canadian Army, where he was sent to London to man an anti-aircraft gun during the Blitz. When America finally entered the war, Millet jumped at the chance to transfer back. When I transferred back to the American Army, I immediately made the invasion of North Africa. And in the first battle, I get a silver star, and uh, they stopped promoting me. By the time my records catch up, because see, I deserted, so they didn't have no records on me. Well, by the time they caught up, I fought six months in Africa, six months in Italy, had a silver star and a bronze star, and it was a buck side. And my records catch up, and they court martial me for desertion, found me guilty, and they fined me a $52 fine and made me a second lieutenant. <laughs> At the outbreak of the Korean War, Millet took command of an understrength unit of 100 men. As if sub zero temperatures and an entrenched enemy were not challenge enough, Millet had to contend with an additional factor. Chinese propaganda. We got reports of captured enemy messages and stuff like that. And in one of them, the Chinese said America's afraid of bayonets. And I said, that's a blankety blank lie. I said, my, both my great grandfathers have fought in the Civil War, used bayonets all the time. And we'll teach those son of a bitches a lesson. <laughs> so I went and got bayonets and had them sharpened up and trained the troops. And so from now on, we lead off in a bayonet assault. In February of 1951, near the village of Soamni, Millet's company approached Hill 180, where they were met with a shower of small arms, automatic, and anti-tank fire from a superior communist force. Outnumbered and pinned down, Captain Millet placed himself at the head of the two platoons, rallied his men, and gave the order, fix bayonets. Facing brutal fire, Captain Millet led E Company in a fierce, screaming charge uphill 180, clubbing and bayoneting enemy at every turn. They stormed the enemy trenches, using their bayonets to such lethal effect that the enemy fled in wild disorder. That's kind of crazy to go charging up with bayonets, you know, against people with machine guns and all that crazy. <laughs> right now, when looking back and say, fix bayonets and follow me, that stupid son of a bitch, you know? <laughs> When the hill was finally taken, nearly 100 communist troops lay dead, 30 by bayonet. The battle for Hill 180, which has since come to be known as Bayonet Hill, earned Millet the Medal of Honor. And it is a great honor. Old President Truman, who was a soldier who'd fought in World War I, when he put it around, they said, I'd rather have this than be President of the United States. You know? And that's what I say. This is not just mine. It's a hundred men that I had, too. And if they all hadn't gone, I'd be dead. I consider that I must have been a pretty good leader. Otherwise, none would have gone. But they all did. And, and this is typical of American soldier, I think. I've never met a bad soldier in combat. I'm alive today because I had some damn good men. Huh? Uh, 
I get emotional about it. We're in a free country. And we, why are we? Because a lot of people, black, white, yellow, went and gave their lives so that you and I can live free. Huh? Simple as that.